Let's practice writing the formula unit, total ionic and net ionic equations for the following reaction. A solution of potassium iodide is mixed with a solution of silver nitrate. A precipitate is formed. The first thing you want to recognize is that you have two aqueous solutions of ionic compounds. That means that they're disassociated if they have dissolved in the aqueous solution. So let's write them down. Potassium iodide aqueous plus silver nitrate aqueous. Now we need to decide what the products will be in this particular reaction. And in order to know what the, which um, forms the precipitate, we need to think about what's going on in the solution. When we mix individually, the potassium ion is existing and the iodide ion is existing in the solution. Individually, the silver ion and the nitrate anion are existing in the solution. And when we mix these two solutions together, we have the potassium ion, the iodide anion, the silver ion, and the nitrate anion all together in solution. What we have to do is know if any of these uh, cations and anions together, when they run into each other, will start precipitating out of solution. So we need to take a look at the solubility rules to make that determination. So the solubility rules say that all compounds of the group 1A cations are soluble. So it doesn't matter what the potassium ion um, comes near, the iodide or the nitrate, it's still going to be soluble. All iodides are soluble except those of silver, lead, and mercury. So we have the silver ion present, which um, when it was with nitrates, all nitrates are soluble with soluble, but when the silver ion and the iodide ion come together, they will be insoluble. From the solubility rules, we're going to predict that the potassium nitrate will still be soluble, but the silver iodide will form a precipitate, so we write it in as a solid. Okay, so let's now that we understand what's going on, let's write the total ionic, the formula unit total ionic and net ionic over again. So we've got the potassium iodide. First, we're going to write the formula unit since we understand now the solubility rules. So we write everything as its formula unit when we write the formula unit type of equation. We yes, plus the silver iodide is going to be the solid. So this is the formula unit equation. The, and we'll call this the formula unit. The total ionic, that's where you show all the ions in solution. So you think about how the disassociated salt actually looks in solution and you write down all of the ions that are present on the left hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. So then we've got the potassium nitrate that's still existing as a disassociated salt when it's dissolved, but the silver iodide we write together as the formula unit because it does not exist as ions. And then for the net ionic equation, you look for spectator ions ions that look exactly the same on both sides. So the potassium ion and the potassium ion are spectating. They're not changing. The nitrate is not changing. What is changing is the iodide anion and the silver ion that were aqueous on the left-hand side are now existing as a solid precipitate when they come together on the right-hand side. So this is the net ionic equation in this case for a precipitation reaction.